Lick number four, take us to a little bit of Jimi Hendrix land, okay? This lick is going to take a two chord progression and spice it up a little bit with some of Hendrix's signature moves. So with this one, remember, timing is everything. Take it really slow, be really laid back. Okay, on this riff, obviously we've got a Jimi Hendrix feel going on. Now, Hendrix was probably my favorite rhythm guitar player, so like I say, having a good dose of Hendrix in here um, never hurts a thing. This one starts out with our C chord, and then we're doing that lick, which is a really standard way that Jimi played chords and lead lines together. He just sort of flowed the whole thing, but to him it was just all sort of rhythm, so he would effortlessly go back and forth between our chord shapes and our lead line. Matter of fact, this progression is just really just a C chord and an F chord over and over, but the way he played it, you know, this kind of stuff made it way more interesting. So our C, and we slide up on our fifth string, and then we get this double stop in here. Right. We can always do the hammer on up to the next one. And then we do the pull off and slide down. So on that pull off, if you notice, I'm actually doing a double stop when I, I hold both of those down, but I just do the hammer on and pull off on the fifth string. And then I go to F chord, do the same slide up from my third fret to my fifth. Just stepping down on that one. Second time through my C. Now instead of hammering onto my fourth string, I'm gonna hammer onto the third string. And I'm sliding up from the basically from the seventh fret to the ninth fret. And then doing that little country vibe up there from my ninth to my eighth fret on the second string, but making sure I'm holding those both down. And then I go to our F chord here, that shape, little pull off there, which is always a, another Hendrix trademark of doing little pull offs within chords. And then we're going to slide up from there, up 7th fret to 10th fret, down to 8th. So that's a pretty straightforward blues lick right down to there. But remember, this is just taking our C chord and our F chord, but adding this little spice to it to make it more interesting. 